opportunité pour le campus et pour la sauvegarde des Yvelines et qui nous permettent d'installer des, des équipements sportifs et les autres installations sans financement direct pour nous parce que c'est pris en charge par HEC. Pour nous, c'est une vraie opportunité. Welcome everybody to Book Resource. We're going to dive straight into the planning exercise. I will give you the description of the task that we are going to construct today. So as you can see on the drawing, we have changed this to now be double-sided. It means we can take advantage of the large central post and we can now have seating all the way around here and round the outside. This is the second half of the, uh, the first day's project. It's a very basic drawing at the moment and we're going to encourage the students tomorrow to take a bit more ownership of this and embellish the plan, come up with their own ideas of how this is going to be done. So we need to put some more of these down we, we, you and need then to we make, need to put the You need to on. make other frameworks, oh, yeah. fill this area uh, and another framework over there and the joists need to be put in on that side and then you need to organise the as well. Raise the roof. <laughs> Theirs is raise the roof and ours is foundation nation. It doesn't have to be in rows, right? So it can no, be like, we can do some can do staggered things like yeah. this. Uh -huh. There's two main tools that you're going to use today. That bit for driving the screws in. The heads are all, uh, the heads are mostly the same size. If it's not driving the screw in, it's probably the wrong size head. One more bench, that's a bench. We just have to put the two planks. <laughs> we are going to finish our foundation as fast as possible. We're going to have lots of hands on drills. Getting those I think in the beginning we needed more asking of questions, but people eventually got there, and I think now we're really rolling. We knew that we could provide the minimum, but now we're actually doing the, we're going the extra mile for, to make sure this garden's extra special for generations to come. Keep sliding, Keep sliding. Everyone's done leading in their own ways, whether you're cutting wood, you're doing the measuring. We've all had to take responsibility for tasks, and I think it's all kind of pushed us out of our comfort zone a little bit to, to take a special responsibility on this, on this project. We've gone to school here in France. We've been able to enjoy the community. We've been able to enjoy our last 12, 13 months here. And this is a really fond way for us to give back to a community that we've been able to enjoy, which has been such an extraordinary experience for all of us. It's been very different. Um, and this is a great way for us to give back to a community that, that, that has basically taken us in for the last 12 months. So it's, it's great. Nice and easy now. Bring it in nice and easy. I'm very surprised and also happy to see what you realized during one day, just one day, and it's finished, so congratulations for your work. I think this was a great project. Everyone did so much work. You were really generous for offering the space and the time. And yeah, congratulations to you. Congratulations to all of us. yesterday gave us a really good picture of the work that we have to do as well as an understanding of timeline and tasks. For the two separate tasks there is two sets of drawings so you have bike shed and pergola. This is the split level pergola task and what we've got here is the foundations and the bases that we've put in to allow the students to turn up here and have a challenging but achievable project that they could achieve in a single day. This is the site of the Velo Shelter, minimal site preparation here required. We've set the bolts into the ground to allow them to harden and we've adjusted the lengths of each of the legs. What are the materials we have or the means we have? What are the materials we have? So I think it helped us prepare a strategy for today on how we would break up teams and how we would assign tasks. The preparation that we've done yesterday will really help us today.
problem is that there's a lot of people wanted to, to do some cutting. Um, but I mean, we need to figure that out or manage like a small schedule. Otherwise, it, it might go well. But the thing is that there's also a different configuration because some people need to cut it uh, 45 degrees. The difference between this week and last week is that the, the planning meeting yesterday made a big difference. They've turned up here, they had an idea how to break the task up, so they were much quicker off the ground. Okay, great, great. We feel very grateful for the students for Splash Project and for HEC. These improvement of facilities are very important for us, for our association, La Sauvegarde des Yvelines, and uh, this is the symbol of the link of the fraternity and the solidarity between our two schools. So this is the shed that all of us have managed to create. I think it's a beautiful piece of creation. It is both uh, fulfilling as well as so enjoyable at the same time. Loved working with the team and I'm so glad that this is going to be used. And thank you so much for giving us this opportunity this day. My only Now pick up a sander and go over there. <laughs> okay guys, that's it. That's it. Having all moved to France for our MBA, it's been a special experience giving back to this community. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Bravo. Hey, Bravo. Bravo. So I'm really proud of our fellow classmates for putting in a lot of effort today and getting 99% complete. Um, I'm really proud of us in general, so happy to have spent a day out here working on this and very happy with the experience. So this will be week three, as you can see already it's a tarmac area, originally a volleyball court, it's not used anymore. We're going to convert this into a sea football stadium. They'll be orientated along the length of the tarmac, goals at either end. We are there to help you build your structure. This is not our build, this is yours. But I want to be playing uh, a little tournament of footy tomorrow afternoon in the stadium that you built. The site that we're going to work on is behind you, past this pergola, up a slippery slope onto the tarmac beyond, all right? Just be aware, of course, it's raining, the ground is slippery now. Be cautious, be careful. I know a lot of the marks, and you'll see marks mark all the way around there, is to show you where things are. Can you just tell me your plan? So we're going to split in the digging team and the uh, measuring team, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to start like uh, measuring the holes, start digging and just trying to make things happen. Como on dit en anglais, I am very happy. Je suis très content. Je suis très content. Depuis la création de ce campus, il y a presque 60 ans aujourd'hui, c'est la première fois que nous installons des équipements de ce genre. How would you rate your team performance from 1 to 10? Anyone here? Hello? Oh, wow. Um, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think we're all putting the work in and we're all obviously committed to the goal, but I think. Uh, I feel like we're all operating in silos at the moment without any like clear objectives. So let's come together, define objectives so we all know what everyone's working on, and then to be working towards a common goal together. For us, it's a real opportunity to see this kind of partnership with active students, as we see there. So that's it, they're very active. Teams by small chantiers, small teams, who are of different phases of the project. People who measure, Des gens qui installent, donc par petite équipe encadrée par Splash Project, par le manager et l'équipe de Splash Project, que je remercie infiniment. I've been having a great time. Like yeah. it started out kind of rough with the rain and the weather, and 
all of that, but it really like picked up and I've been having a fun time. I can say that I've seen people work harder today than I've seen them work in the classroom all year. So I think that, that, that's been good, getting people out and about and uh, everyone's coming together to work on the same project. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a great day. Thank you so much. Um, I think we have the last work to do together. Thank you so much. That's perfect. Thank you. That's a pleasure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, welcome to Book Resource. At this location, they do several different things, including teach the new generation of healthcare workers in France. They also use this facility for health and wellbeing for families and individuals within this department and the, and the greater area of metropolitan Paris. What you build today will be used on Monday morning, I guarantee it. Okay, so it needs to be fantastic and it needs to be fit for purpose straight away. So Nick leading on the bridge, Sean leading on the construction of these archways, which is a little bit tricky, so Sean's going to do that. Andrea is going to lead on uh, the pathway leading from the bridge to the pergola and, all, and then, and then the, the pathway leading to the garden area. Justin is going to lead on the garden structure straight away. Those that are doing the duck in, we need an impact driver. So you can go and grab those. All the corners look like trees. Okay. okay, if you're not confident, come back to me and we'll get it correct. You can see where the joists are. Yep. Yep. Second move in, all the way across. But the guys there are starting to do the deck in, and this team here is starting the, the walkway to the garden over here. So hopefully, all will meet in the middle and all will be happy. Beautiful. I'm very impressed for two things, for, for the results and also for the work the students here are doing from HSA, working together in a very short time with Splash Project. So, this is amazing. We have to move to the left, for sure. Um, it's been an awesome experience. It's been a learning experience. It's been great working with you guys. And it's something that we're going to remember for a long time, for sure. It's been one of the highlights of the MBA for me. The MBA has shown me that it's more than just ourselves. We need to think bigger. We need to think about community. We need to think about society, and that's what we're doing here. To be able to give back to a community in whatever little way means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to every one of the other folks that are here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good job, Slash. Thank you. Take care. We started construction five weeks ago on the 1st of October. We had a superb day. It went, it went brilliantly. We then progressed on to the second week and the, the third week, it just sublime. Uh, and now to bring the fourth week in to return back to where we were on the 1st of October, but to add all the value to what was already uh, a brilliant project on the first week. And it's all come together. HEC MBA students have been absolutely amazing. We want to thank them for, uh, for spending time for us 
and uh, working for, for the students of uh, Bucresource. Uh, we want to thank them really.